Alisson Becker, the Liverpool goalkeeper, has been ruled out of the Chelsea-Liverpool Super Cup final game this Wednesday after picking up a calf injury in the Premier League opener against Norwich. Following scans carried out on the Saturday, the Liverpool medical team have confirmed diagnosis of a calf strain which would rule Alisson out for approximately four to eight weeks. In this video, we're going to delve deeper into how Alisson got the injury and what methods of recovery he would be using. In addition to that, we're also going to investigate the sports anatomy further. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in that. Before we start, if you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Matthew Fayisa and I'm a third year medical student from London. I produce videos on sports medicine and injuries we see in the game. So definitely recommend players from all sports that you'd want me to cover in the future. For football fans, I've done one recently on Alexander Lacazette's ankle injury and the reason why he missed the opener against Newcastle for Arsenal. And for Liverpool fans in particular, I have two videos. One on Daniel Sturridge's problematic injury history and your beloved Mo Salah versus the average man where we compare his physical stats and physical attributes to that of the average person. So definitely be interested in that kind of content. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any in the future. In addition to the YouTube channel that I have, I'm also experimenting by creating a new page on Facebook and Instagram. I will link them in the description below, but also go check out them. Basically, I'm going to be producing more regular content on there where I just put short descriptions of the injuries that players are having and roughly the recovery time for how quick they can get back. Alisson got injured as he appeared to slip whilst taking the goal kick. This occurred in roughly the 36th minute and it first appeared that he had some form of calf injury. This was later confirmed the next day by the Liverpool medical team where they diagnosed him with a calf strain. The calf muscle is a muscle positioned in the lower portion of the leg behind the knee. The most superficial muscle is called the gastrocnemius and this consists of two heads a medial head and a lateral head which are responsible for producing the classic horseshoe shape calf muscle that you'd see in a lot of cyclists who have defined calf the gastrocnemius connects the femur which is a thick bone in the thigh to the heel bone in the foot via something called the calcineus tendon there are some other muscles involved however their interaction surpasses the level of anatomy for this video Regarding what actually a calf strain is, we first have to define the difference between a sprain and a strain. A sprain is a result in the injury or tear of the ligaments, which are responsible for connecting two pieces of bone together, whereas a strain is responsible for tearing a tendon or the actual muscle. Following that definition, Allison's injury was the result of some form of damage to the calf muscle rather than the bone or the structural integrity of the leg. A pulled calf muscle is the result of overstretching during an exercise. This is a very common injury amongst sports athletes and runners especially and the symptoms that present once getting injured differ depending on the severity of the injury. A mild strain can leave you with kind of a pulling sensation or tightness in your calf you would still be able to walk however this most likely will feel a little bit uncomfortable. Other signs of a pulled muscle include redness, swelling and bruising in the calf region. If we go back to the anatomy where we talked about how the calf muscle connects to the foot via the calcineus tendon, if there's an injury to that region, Alison would also be unable to actually stand on the balls of his feet. In regards to the treatments, Liverpool fans would be happy to hear that there's no surgery for a mild strain, this kind of heals and recovers on its own. So with a four to eight week recovery time, Alison would need to use methods such as rice, rest, ice, compress and elevate. He can also use heat pads and other forms of recovery techniques. As a takeaway for this video, Alison's injury was not serious in the sense that this was an isolated incident and Alison has not got any previous medical history or previous reports of any injury to his calf region. It would take him a few weeks to get back to full fitness and there is a risk that if Liverpool rush him back, then perhaps, perhaps he would re-aggravate the injury and this would become a lot worse than it actually is. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content in the future. Also, like the content and share it with your friends or other football fans that you know. 
Um, also comment down below what other athletes you would like me to cover in the future and what injuries in particular you would like me to do. I would also be open to doing kind of throwback injuries that happened a few years ago. In addition to the YouTube channel that I have, I'm also experimenting by creating a new page on Facebook and Instagram. I will link them in the description below, but also go check out them. Basically, I'm going to be producing more regular content on there where I just put short descriptions of the injuries that players are having and roughly the recovery time for how quick they can get back. Hey. Grew up in the east, that's where they rule the streets, that's where they catch a case for some jewelry, I swear. If you wanna test it, you think that it's sweet, I dare you to survive in the belly of the beast. I'm fearing that the likelihood that my brothers could meet their makers is high. So